welcome to the first ever annual sports review for 2018. And we get a round of applause for those who have put on this outstanding lunch for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the biggest stories this year, Australian cricket, the Commonwealth Games and the rise of female sport. There is nothing more extraordinary than being in a major event and having the 100,000 people who are there supporting you and cheering you. How do you describe Winx? Why in your words is Winx Winx? Look, she's, she's incredible. I don't think, we've never seen a horse like it to be able to do what she's done. Tough cricket I'll be looking for is just someone, particularly from an Australian point of view this year, now we haven't got Smith, Warner and Bancroft. I'd love to see just one of our bats not go out there and point at the Indian fast bowls and tell them what they're going to do. Just go out there and do it. And be the one to score 100 when it's tough. I, I reckon, Mel, I reckon you'd have been a good quick, a mad fast bowler. Oh, you reckon? I, I, I remember sort of sitting there at the MCG going, wow, this is going to be really ugly for West Coast. And then all of a sudden, bang, bang, bang. So I started playing footy when I was about 17 um, and haven't really looked back, I guess. I had a choice uh, to pick Jersey Flag with the Bulldogs or, or a Reds Academy contract and someone said to me, Drew, you play rugby league, you can go to Townsville and Newcastle, or you play rugby union, you go to Paris and London. So that, that kind of helped with, uh, with that decision. And, and, uh, <laughs> and the only panellist up here with the beer is the rugby league player. Like, you just, you just it's free, that that's why. You played that stereotype so well, Fletch. <laughs> Sorry. He touched the ball twice, missed three tackles, dropped the ball once, and was a hero. I did that my whole career, and... Uh... <laughs>